Have you ever stopped to wonder how our modern medicine came to be? How many of the remedies we rely on today have their roots in ancient practices discovered and refined by civilizations that existed long before us? The answers lie in the study of ethnobotany, the science that explores the relationship between people and plants. One man in particular has left an indelible mark on this field. His name is Richard Evans Schultz, often referred to as the father of modern ethnobotany. Born on January 12, 1915 in Boston, Massachusetts, Schultz developed a fascination with the natural world from a young age. His early interest in plants was nurtured by his parents and by his high school biology teacher, who would later inspire him to pursue a career in botany. Schultz is enrolled at Harvard University in 1933, where he discovered his passion for ethnobotany under the mentorship of Oakes Ames, a renowned orchidologist and ethnobotanist. In 1941, Schultes embarked on a journey that would shape the course of his career in the field of ethnobotany. He traveled to the Amazon rainforest where he lived among the indigenous tribes for 12 years. During this time, he studied the tribe's use of plants, especially hallucinogenic ones, documenting their practices and learning from their extensive knowledge of the rainforest's flora. Schultes was the first non-native individual to academically examine ayahuasca, a traditional spiritual medicine used in ceremonies by indigenous cultures of the Amazon. His work in the Amazon resulted in the collection of over 30,000 herbarium specimens, contributing significantly to the understanding of the Amazon's rich biodiversity. Returning to Harvard in 1953, Schultes continued to influence the field of ethnobotany as a captivating educator. His book, The Plants of the Gods, co-authored with chemist Albert Hoffman, is considered his greatest work, providing an insight into the relationship between plants and human culture. Schultes retired from Harvard in 1985, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire students and researchers worldwide. Throughout his career, he received numerous awards and decorations, recognizing his pioneering work in ethnobotany. His influence extended to notable individuals such as E.O. Wilson, Wade Davis, Andrew Weil, Allen Ginsberg, and Mr. Wondrous. Today we remember Richard Evans Schultes as a man who bridged the gap between ancient wisdom and modern science. His work in the Amazon rainforest opened our eyes to the incredible knowledge of indigenous cultures and their relationship with the natural world. His dedication to ethnobotany has not only enriched our understanding of plants, but also paved the way for advancements in medicine, conservation and cultural preservation. In summary, Richard Evans Schultz was a trailblazer in the field of ethnobotany. His extensive research in the Amazon, his contributions to academia and his passion for sharing his knowledge have left an indelible mark on the world. His legacy lives on in the field of ethnobotany, reminding us of the profound connection between humans and the natural world, as well as the importance of diversity. Monoculture breeds disease. He once concluded in a talk he gave in Cambridge toward the end of his career,